This video is going to be about how to reuse a hand warmer after you are finished using it. Now, these are made for anywhere from well, like 5 hours, 14 hours, 15, 20 hours. Well, normally you don't need 15 hours of heat. If you're camping, if you're at a tailgate party, if you're somewhere, if you're outside, if you're walking the dog, you don't need 14 hours of heat. So if you activate this, then you have to throw it away because you're not going to need 14 hours. So there is a way to make this last. These are air activated. They are chemicals, and so there are chemicals inside here, but these are air activated. So you need to get rid of the air. What you do, get yourself a Ziploc bag. Get yourself a bag. It doesn't have to be Ziploc. Any bag at all. And put the heat warmer. Let me zoom out. Normally I don't zoom out on my videos. Get the heat warmer, put it into the Ziploc bag, seal it part way. Now this is a really large bag. You don't need a large bag, but you want to start to seal it. I heard a little click. And then, you now you. The whole idea is you want to burp out all the air that's in here as best you can because the air is what activates this. And then seal up the bag. And double check to make sure that it is really sealed on the top. Now there's no more air inside there. This was showing a temperature of, was it about 117? So I'm going to come back in about 10 minutes and show you that the temperature has dropped down to somewhere in the 80s or 70s, which is about what the room temperature is here, and that this is the way to extend the life of a hand warmer. After about 10 minutes, we're down to 86 and a half degrees or so, and uh, the room in here is somewhere about uh, 80 something. So this is the way that you can extend the life of these air-activated heat warmers. Put it in a Ziploc bag. Make sure the air is completely out of there. You don't want any air at all to be able to get into this thing. And after everything cools off, you will be able to extend the life of this for however many hours you didn't use it. Going to be a review of the Elixir Sports 14-hour heat pack. Now this thing is supposed to get up to 158 degrees. Uh, it is activated by air from what they say and it is a pocket disposable hand warming glove. Right now in Los Angeles it is 54 degrees outside. For LA that is freezing. So I'm going to be putting these things on and I'm going to test them out and then I'm going to give you my opinion. So let's open up the package first to see what's in here. Um, Now the instructions don't tell you how to use this, but what you're supposed to do is you take it out of the package and you, this is a chemically activated type uh, heat warmer, so you want to shake it around, move it around, get the uh, chemicals inside the container. Ooh, I'm starting to feel some warmth now. The instructions are in Japanese, so that is not going to help you if you're in the U.S., but this is how you activate these hand warmers. Move it around a little bit. Okay, so it's activating right now. And the, the idea behind this is after you get this activated, you can put this in your gloves. And once they're in your gloves and you put your gloves on, obviously, ooh, it's starting to warm up. And it will keep your hands warm while you are wearing the gloves. Now, I'm going to be trying out something else. I'm going to see how this works on sore muscles because this could also be very handy instead of using a heating pack if you have sore muscles. So let me come back in a couple minutes and let you know 
how warm this thing is and what it feels like. Make sure that you move this around to activate everything that's inside the bag. It's getting much warmer now. It does take some time. These are air activated, so you really don't have to shake it around, but the, you can make it heat up faster by shaking it. We're at 110 degrees now after about 5 or 10 minutes, um, and it is starting to get very warm to the touch. These things can burn you, so you really need to be careful about hand contact. 158 degrees is definitely warm. Uh, it feels good. Now, I'm going to go outside, test this thing out, and then I'm going to come back in, and I'm going to show you how you can extend the life of these things. This is a 14-hour heat pack, and they are activated by air. So if you're able to get this away from the air, then the activation will shut off. Even though it's 14 hours, you should be able to extend the life of that. I'm going to go out right now, walk the dog. She is patiently waiting for me. And then I'll come back and let you know what it feels like to use this in 54 degree temperature in Los Angeles. After about 17 minutes, we're at 118 degrees. Here we are. I just got back from the walk. Let me show you what I did. I put the pack inside my jacket, in my pocket, in my shirt pocket. I've got to tell you, this has been the best walk I've done in a long time. We're having frost advisories outside right now. It is cold out there. This thing sitting in, oh, it feels so good. I mean, the warmth in my pocket is still there. Um, having this thing was incredible. I am boiling right now from, from taking that walk because I feel so warm and comfortable. So, yeah, I totally recommend this product. Uh, let's go see what the temperature is on this thing. The highest temperature that this got to was about 122 degrees, which for me is more than enough. I was able to keep it in my shirt pocket. I tried putting it in my hand glove to see how that worked. That worked good. You could, even though you're not supposed to put this on direct skin, it is warm enough and comfortable enough where you could use this as a heating pad. If you need to, put a towel between you and the skin and use this for sore muscles. Just uh, use caution so that you don't burn yourself. So this is a great product and five stars. Totally very happy with this. Again, this is the Elixir Sports 14-hour heat pack. If my videos help you out, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, or a like. If you have a product you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I will. If you want to link this to any other website, that would be awesome. And if you would like to leave a donation to my channel, please ask me for my PayPal info.